Davis Ford in Fulton is built on customer service. It's been a founding pillar of Davis Ford since opening our doors in 1964. We are proud to announce winning the 2022 Ford President's Award for customer service. Davis Ford was the only dealer in Mississippi to achieve this award, marking a record-setting 20th time. Davis Ford would like to say thank you to our valued customers. We wouldn't be here without you and your commitment to us. When I came back to school this year, I brought my bank with me, and the student checking account at First American National Bank was perfect for me. No monthly fees and no minimum balance, and I can manage my money right from the app. I can do all my banking with text messaging if I want, and I can deposit a check just by taking a photo. It's that easy at FAMB. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. My bank followed me to college. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. It's that easy at First American National Bank. Davis Ford in Fulton is built on customer service. It's been a founding pillar of Davis Ford since opening our doors in 1964. We are proud to announce winning the 2022 Ford President's Award for customer service. Davis Ford was the only dealer in Mississippi to achieve this award, marking a record setting 20th time. Davis Ford would like to say thank you to our valued customers. We wouldn't be here without you and your commitment to us. Good afternoon and Roll Tribe ICC fans. Welcome out to this afternoon's ball game as your ICC Indians are getting set to host West Kentucky Community and Technical College as we're just moments away from that first American National Bank opening tip. Let's fly through tonight's start this afternoon starting lineup here for you and let's start with the stars of West Kentucky. It'll be number two, Treshawn Hines. Number 14, Solomon Robinson. Number 22, Brennan Walker. 33, Quinton Myers. And 35 is Wyatt Sherwin. Head coach for the Stars is Sam Miller. He's assisted by Avery Strayhorn and Justin Hill. ICC, they come in with a record of 13-1 and one on the season. They have winners of 13 straight. And their starting lineup will look like this. Zero, Chris Minton. One, Davion Anderson. Two, Bryson Dawkins. 12, M.J. Smith, and 24, A.J. Dent. That is your starting lineups brought to you by Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, ICC and Coke. Now that's a winning combination, and that's the combination that Coach Grant Pate, his assistants, Jacob Hayslip, and Darian Wilson hope they have put together here for possibly the 14th straight win, which will continue the longest win streak in the history of the program here this season. We'll take one more time out. We'll come back with the playing of the National Anthem and the starting lineups from the floor here from the Davis Event Center in Fulton right after this. Davis Ford in Fulton is built on customer service. It's been a founding pillar of Davis Ford since opening our doors in 1964. We are proud to announce winning the 2022 Ford President's Award for customer service. Davis Ford was the only dealer in Mississippi to achieve this award, marking a record setting 20th time. Davis Ford would like to say thank you to our valued customers. We wouldn't be here without you and your commitment to us. First American offers online and mobile banking features to make your banking experience easy and safe. Activate or deactivate your debit card as needed, attach images to your transactions, apply travel notices to your account, and make person-to-person -person payments. You can even set up text alerts to guard against unauthorized spending or just to monitor your account balance. 
The best part, that you can bank anytime, anywhere. At First American National Bank, get that hometown feel, the high-tech touch. Today tastes like a home game. Excuse me, we'll take you to the floor now. They get a little bit started early for the playing of the National Anthem. Starting lineups for both squads. We're just most away from that first American National Bank opening tip between the Indians and the Stars here from Fulton. Show your school spirit with our exclusive debit cards. Represent ICC with a special card design you can only get from First American National Bank. You'll show your support every time you use the card. Support ICC with a spirit debit card from FANB. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're just moments away from that first American National Bank opening tip here between ICC and the stars of West Kentucky Community and Technical College. ICC in their home blue and the visiting stars in the what looks to be kind of a old school all-star type Adidas jersey, similar to the West Virginia colors of Blue and gold, of course, maybe a Notre Dame fan will not mission the school that recently won a national championship that they look like as there's a floater up in and good. That was Robinson with the first points of the contest, and it's a two to nothing contest with the Stars taking the lead early. Looks to be a little bit of a 3 2 style zone. ICC quickly throws it inside, easy basket. 
as A.J. Dent just turns around, flops that one in, and we're tied at two. Well, this is over and back call there against the Stars. I was going to say, so school is out on Monday. We don't have classes on Friday, so the student body, uh, they are pretty much took off for a long weekend. I do see some of our international soccer players here. Uh, members of the women's basketball team are here as well. Uh, Coach Michael Metz and a couple of tennis players coming in. Uh, not a very big crowd that we're accustomed to here in the Davis Event Center as there's a three-pointer from the corner. Good, as that was Chris Minton burying the three-pointer in ICC leads 5-2. to two. And then on top of that also, there's some bad weather expected to come in here over the next few days as there's a steal and the layup is in there for Anderson. And so ICC quickly out after falling behind 2-0 on a 7-0 run now to lead it 7-2. So basically what I'm saying is not expecting a sellout crowd this afternoon here at the Davis Event Center. Inside they go, shot blocked. Nice recovery there. Shot blocked again. Back-to-back -back blocks there for MJ Smith. Then the Indians just lose the basketball. Nice extra pass and the layup is good. That was Sherwin with the layup. I do apologize if I get any names wrong or maybe names and numbers backwards. I went to the website to get the roster for the Stars and there's quite a few corrections uh, from the actual one we got here. So hopefully I'm gonna be sure and get everyone right here. We do want to say a special hello to those that are watching in favor of the Stars this afternoon, as well as welcome the members of the ICC family tuning in as that jumper is up in and good for Bryson Dawkins and the Indians up now nine to four. Indians will not play in the first half of next week. They'll open conference play against Holmes on Thursday. It'll be a 5.30 tip for the Lady Indians, 7.30 for the men here at the Davidson Event Center. Stolen away by the Indians. Open floor, Dawkins. And he's going to let to lay it in as that was a hard foul that time. Nothing malicious on the foul. Just one of those going to make sure if he's going to make the basket, he was going to make him earn it as this will be Dawkins heading to the free throw line to shoot two. First free throw, good for Dawkins. Second one, no good, but the offensive rebound is to the Indians. Step back for the three off the mark, no. And the rebound to the Stars. So the Stars with the basketball, Dawkins with the steal, trying to get out in the open floor, and he's going to throw it. No, he's going to eventually lay it in. He's going to say he's going to throw it down, but Dawkins with someone on his hip decided just to go ahead and lay that one in, and the Indians now in this one 12 to 4. Stars need a basket in a big way. This trip now misses that one. Rebounds inhaled there by the Indians. Now wanting to get out and run. Drops this one ahead. MJ layup, no, but there is a foul. So this will send the Indians back to the free throw line where they're one of two this evening. This is MJ Smith heading to the line, looking for his first points of the afternoon. And he nails the first one. Indians two of three for the charity stripe so far. First points of the afternoon for Smith. And this one could put the Indians up by 10 and he does. Largest lead of the afternoon now for ICC is at 10, 14 to four, 16, 35 and counting to go here. As this time a quick pass down the floor, but the Indians steal it from behind. That's Anderson with the steal. Lobs this one up to Dawkins, yes! Dawkins with some authority. Hammers that one. He's got seven. Dunked it so hard it made the video board go out. Step back, jumper on his way, good. Big basket knocked down there by Robinson to stop a little bit of that bleeding for the Stars. Back to a 10-point contest, 16-6 now is the score. 
Dawkins with the basketball. He has a game high seven points. Inside jumper, good. A.J. Dent, nice move, smooth in the paint. Four points for Dent now as it's an 18-6 contest. And on the other end, floater is off the mark, no good, and Dent just rips that rebound with one hand. Now he wants to get out running his own here. Drops it out to Dawkins. Dawkins swings it back and it eventually works his way back over to Anderson, who's going to reset the offense. Indians up by 12. That matches the largest lead of the afternoon. Three-pointer on its way. Good. Dawkins, red hot to start this contest. First player to enter double digits. He's got 10. Stars want to answer the three on the other end. They don't. And the Indians going to leave this one ahead to Dawkins. And he throws it down. A little pump that time from Dawkins. Almost didn't get that one down that time, but does so. And now the Indians continue to build this big lead here as that shot is good. The Indians tried to block it and almost tripped over themselves that time. Dawkins with the basketball, pump fake on the three, now works it back over to Anderson. Dawkins wants the deep three, that one off the mark, no good. Rebound tipped around, Indians find it. Turn around from MJ, rattles around, no good, and the rebound to the Stars. West Kentucky needs to get on a little bit of a roll here, but ICC kind of gambled, went for the steal, got called for the foul instead as A.J. Dent. And ICC is going to send in what looks to be a fresh five here. So let's reset the lineup being brought to you by Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works. On the floor for the Indians, number three, James Turner. Number 10, Marcel Bridges. Number four, Jalen Sanford. Number 23, Tyson McDaniels. And number 10, or I've already said Marcel, as there's a three-pointer on its way. Good. Sherwin has got five points now. So now the Indians with the basketball. Dre Graham is the other Indian on the floor. As there's a turnaround shot up in and good. As that was Bridges coming in, providing a little instant offense for the Indians. Lead back to 14 here for ICC. Stars with the basketball, tough man-to-man -man defense. Turnaround jumper, well off the mark, no good. They're gonna say it was blocked or not. No, it was not. And so the ball back to the Indians. So the ball worked around. Indians going to try to reset. Looking to work against this zone defense. Switching off the screen are the Stars. Mousing it to the inside, and it's out of bounds. Back to the Stars. And then it's taken away by the Indians. Extra pass. Layup is there. Unselfish basketball, looks good that time. Turner gets a great pass for Sanford. And then the Indians steal it away, and then it's gonna be a foul called here on ICC, I believe. Or actually, are they gonna call it? Yeah, they're gonna call that one on Sanford of ICC. So they're gonna to try to throw over the top of the press, and they do so successfully. Sorry about that. I had to uh, help someone out that was trying to use some of our equipment for their own personal stuff. Don't work that way. So we've got some free throws coming up here. As this, the front of the jerseys are tough to read. I believe this might be 33 Myers at the line. Because they're yellow numbers and they have a yellow stripe, as you can see. Yeah, I can see now. 
and it turns enough on the back of his jersey that it is 33. Second free throw, that one's off the mark as well, so couldn't come up with either one of those. 27 to 11 is the score, ICC with the lead and the basketball. Trying to feed it inside, they do so. Quick dribble, turn around, hook shot is up and good. That was Graham with his first points of the contest. Stretches the lead out to 18. And officially the largest lead here in the first half. Ball nearly taken away. Drives inside. Scoop shot. Kiss off the glass. No. Rebound to the Indians. Loose ball. And they're going to say it's last touch by ICC. So a break there for the Stars. They try to lob that one in, then McDaniels jumps in front of it, tips it, has the wherewithal to find it, save it before it goes out of bounds. Reverse layup is there. Nice little scoop shot from Sanford. He was able to finish, and the Indians lead this one by 20. And it's taken away. Indians on the other end, and the jam. Bridges with the steal and the finish. He's got four points. That is the third dunk of the game for ICC. Then there's another steal. And points there for the Indians. And ICC takes a 35-11 to 11 lead here. Timeout on the floor. Let's take the timeout with them and be back with more right after this. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, out of the timeout. 11.32 to go here until halftime. ICC with the 35 to 11 lead here over West Kentucky Tech. The Stars out of Paducah, Kentucky. I want to say probably about a four and a half, five hour trip from here from Fulton. Indians with another steal leads to an open court opportunity here, and it's going to be a foul count the basket. So McDaniels will have a chance at a at a three-point play the old-fashioned way here. As the free throw is on its way, back iron bouncing around, no good. So the Stars with the basketball. They're going to work it into the front court. Drive inside, shot is good. Nicely done there by, I believe that was Hines with the basket. And then we've got stoppage in play here. There's going to be a, another foul whistled. And that's going to be the second foul, fourth team foul whistled on the Stars. Three have been whistled against the Indians here. ICC ball on the baseline. Drive inside, kick out to the corner. Thought about the three. Now swings it back up top. Drives inside, layup is good. So Samford finishes strong for his fourth point of the afternoon. Pushes the lead out now, 39 to 13. And the young man from the Stars steps out of bounds on the drive to the basket. So the turnover will give it back to the Indians. So 
So the Indians with the basketball, leading 39-13, to 13, coming up on 10 minutes to play here. Backside lob, oh, just a little bit too far on the lob that time, and the layup is there. Well, if he could have timed that one up, that one would have been a big-time throw down there. But the Indians able to keep possession with it, and then eventually get the layup from Marcel Bridges for his sixth point of the afternoon. Stars with the basketball, thought about the three. Now they're going to take a deep three here on its way off the front iron, no good. Rebound being fought for, and the Indians will control it. And now ICC quickly up the floor into the corner. They want a three on the other end. That one off the mark, no good, and the rebound to the Stars. Now the Stars want to get out and run on their own. ICC does a good job of getting back in transition to force them to reset the offense. Quick jumper. Iron unkind in the rebound, easily corralled that time by McDaniels. Now ICC slows it down a step. 41-13, nine minutes to play here. As that shot is up, no good in the rebound to the Stars. The Stars needs a basket in a big way this trip down the floor to see if they can kind of start trimming into this lead. That shot is off the mark, no good. Now ICC wanting to get out in transition. And there's another jam. Samford with some authority there. Fourth dunk of the game for the Indians. They now lead it by 30. Around the horn they go, three-pointer on its way. Well off the mark, no good. Easy rebound corralled by Chalmers. And now ICC on the other end and tried the Windmill jam there just didn't get up enough on it. The rim stuffed him that time, and now here comes the Stars on the other end. And they're going to say he steps out of bounds. Trio subs coming in here for the Indians. A.J. Dent will reenter, along with Davion Anderson and Bryson Dawkins. It looks like 21, Logan Davis enters the contest here for the Stars. 43-13 is the score. Eight minutes to play until halftime. Again, we welcome those tuning in this afternoon here, members of the ICC family. And do say a special hello to those that are supporting the Stars this afternoon. Is that shot up in and good for Bridges, who now has eight points? That ball's tipped away, is out of bounds, last touch by the Stars. So the ball go back to the Indians here. Well, ICC is not scheduled to be back in action until Thursday when they host Holmes to open conference play. As there's a three-pointer on the other end, uncontested and the easy rebound to the Stars. That first American National Bank opening tilt for the ladies game will be at 5.30. Men will follow at 7.30. Baseline drive up and under, count the basket. Nice move that time by the big man. Brennan Walker using his size to be able to shield off the defender and kiss off the glass for the layup. And a chance at a three-point play the old-fashioned way here. And he makes it. Got that unofficially three points for Walker. As I said, I missed a basket earlier for the Stars, so we'll try to get those numbers updated to you at halftime. Of course, that'll be part of the Little Caesars halftime report coming your way. We'll have that in a special feature also, so you want to stick around there. Reach in on the pass to the inside, and it'll be a foul on the Stars. That foul whistled on Sherwin, and that's going to be his first foul. And that's going to be the fifth foul was on the Stars. Four have been caught on ICC. So Indian ball on the baseline. 6.59 to go here until halftime. Quickly get it inbounds. Now they're going to try to feed it back inside. Turn around. A little touch shot in the paint is good. Nice soft touch that time by Bridges. He now has double figures in the game. And it's a 31-point advantage now for the Indians, 47 to 16. Loose ball on the floor. Nice feed on the inside, trying to go up and under. Contested shot off the side of the backboard, and ICC with the rebound. 
Indians wanting to get out and run. Lead this one ahead and tried to dunk it, but blocked by the Stars. Great transition defense there by the Stars. Beautiful pass on the other end and the layup. Great job there by the Stars to one, get the block on the other side of the floor. Good no-look pass resulted in an easy layup there. Makes it a 47-18 game with six minutes to play here until the break. Chalmers with the basketball, feeds it inside. Indians see a double team. Now they try a dangerous skip pass, but somehow ends up in the hands of Dawkins, who finishes nicely around the basket for point number 14 for Dawkins. So every time the Stars get a little bit something going, ICC has had been able to answer, and that's going to be a foul on Chalmers. That's one of those fouls that could have gone either way as the player from the Stars really wasn't set. They kind of just ran into each other, and the official had to call something, and if it had been a call against the Stars, I've been okay with it. The call as it stands, still okay with it, as that's just one of those that the person that ended up on the floor got the worst for wear, and so Chalmers will pick up the foul, his first, team fifth. So Stars with the basketball, looking to go to work here. Need to put together a big run to see if they can start to chip away at this 30-something point lead, and that's a goaltending. All day, every day, as MJ Smith just came over and swatted that one out of the air. One of those, you may not necessarily mind the aggressiveness there. You like the coming over with help defense. So Indians with the basketball. Drive inside, count the basket. Anderson beat the defender, got the contact, and was able to get the kiss off the glass on the layup and a chance at a three-point play the old-fashioned way here. So waiting the free throw and it's able to make it. Five points now for Anderson. The lead back to 32. That matches the largest of the night. So the Stars with the basketball working around the perimeter here. Feed it inside. Jump shot blocked that time by Dent. And now Dent's wanting to get out and run. Here comes Dawkins. Layup finally falls. A friendly roll there for Dawkins. Thought he might have thought about putting somebody on a poster that time, but instead got the friendly roll on the layup and the lead now out to 34. Largest of the afternoon here for the Indians. Three-pointer from the corner. Good. That was Preston Johnson drilling the three for the Stars. Sounds like some of his family might have made their way down to the Magnolia State to support him as there was a loud cheer from the Stars section. As Dawkins goes underneath and his shot is no good, but then they're going to be called a foul. Guess they got him across the arm. Looked like a pretty good block from behind, but the foul whistle there on Yates. And this will send Bryson Dawkins to the free throw line. As that free throw, no good. What is it, ball don't lie? A little guilty conscience, maybe? If he makes this one, we'll say it part of a foul. One of those that probably shouldn't have been called in this situation is that neither free throw goes there for Dawkins. Quickly down the other end, layup is no good, and that's going to be a foul on the Indians as ICC kind of watching versus getting back that time and kind of what Coach Pate was put his hands up and asked the guys. He's like, why didn't you get back? And that's going to be the third foul whistle there on A.J. Dent. And this will send Myers back to the free throw line and can't get that one to fall. Tell him the two-shot opportunity here as we get a substitution in the game. Dent will check out, picking up that third foul. And it'll be Dathan Timms entering here for the Indians. Second free throw, good for Myers. So four minutes to play, Indians up by 30. 
consistently been around that 30, 31 mark pretty much majority of this first half. Inside they go, layup is good. What a mess of a layup. Stars coach wanted a charge. The official said no. And Smith gets his fourth point of the game. And then the Stars looking to shoot before they hand the basketball. It goes out of bounds back to the Indians. Well, I can, I can see where Coach Miller would have a little bit of an argument on the far side of the floor as that was a strong move by MJ, but it did look like a little bit of a added flop once the contact was made. So either way it goes, they say play on here. Tims wants to lob this one on the inside. Smith sees a double team, turns away from it, puts the shot up, but he's fouled. That foul was on Myers. That's going to be his second foul. This will send Smith to the line. There's eight team fouls now on the Stars. Six have been called against the Indians. First free throw. Good. So we've got some subs coming in and out here. Myers looks like he may have been slightly shaken up as he was kind of walking to the sideline and the officials making sure everybody's off the floor, ready to go as he makes the second free throw. It's a 58-24 contest now. Matching the large lead of the afternoon here at 34. Stars with the basketball, working around the perimeter. Three-pointer on its way, left short, no good. Out of bounds, back to the Indians. 3.05 to play until halftime. We appreciate those that are watching this afternoon. Indians trying to extend that win streak to 14 in a row with the win this afternoon. They open the season with a loss to Motlow State and have not looked back since. As there's a three-pointer knocked down. Anderson drills the three. He's now got eight points. Quickly inside they go, ball fake. Shot is up and good move underneath the paint that time to get the much taller defender in the air. Timed it out and after he reached the apex of his jump, got him falling back defensively. Got the shot over the tip of his finger in the friendly roll. And as Colmeyer would say, a little basketball 101 back in the day. Beautiful pass, layup underneath is good for Yates. Great assist to open Yates up for an easy basket underneath. Indians with it now, 61-28, still with two minutes to play until the break. Three-pointer on its way, that one good. Anderson now enters double digits with back-to-back three-pointers. Stars look like they were thinking about the three. Now with the step back, fall away two. Rattles in and out halfway down, no good. And Anderson with, rips the rebound. He's wanting to up the tempo a little bit. Minton with it, feeds it inside to Timms. Timms, jumper up and good. Timms with the basket. So now the Indians just need JT Chalmers to score. And everybody that's been in the game will have scored so far. And we still got a half to play. Open on the floor they go, trying to get his steps down. Instead, he likes to lay it up. Well, Anderson has had a couple of times where it looks like he was going to try to dunk one. Elects to just lay that one up. And the Indians now with their largest lead of the afternoon, 68-28. Shot on his way, no good. Rebound to the Indians. He tried to dunk one the other night, came up a little short, went to the bench. So I think he kind of... Learned his lessons there, and there's going to be a foul on Tim's. Well, stay tuned. We'll have the Little Caesars halftime report coming your way. We'll take a look at some of the couple of special presentations during that break. We'll have some first half stats and more. Part of the Little Caesars halftime show. That free throw is good.
got Sherwin unofficially eight points. Second free throw left short, no good. Tim's with the rebound. About nine seconds difference in the shot clock and the game clock. Stars in a 2-3 zone. Indians going to be patient to work the clock around here. Nearly throw it away. Minton with the basketball now. Sends it to the backside to Smith, and he throws it down. Well, he tried to lob one to him, but instead Smith collected it and still threw it down that time. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Your score 70 to 29. All ICC in this one. We're going to take a break here, a few words from our sponsors, and come back with more right after this here as we enter the Little Caesars halftime report. Indians up 70 to 29. Wow, thanks, Justin Jefferson. You know, we love eating Little Caesars and watching the Vikings play. And one day, I'm going to be just like you. Hmm, how about right now? Ah! Come on, Jefferson! Ah! Ah! Yes, how about another slice, Wart? Thanks, Dad. So tasty. Gee whiz, Justin Jefferson's having a great day. Just like this father and son. JJ's gotta have his Little Caesars. Try stuffed crazy crust for only $9.49. Pizza, pizza. Davis Ford in Fulton is built on customer service. It's been a founding pillar of Davis Ford since opening our doors in 1964. We are proud to announce winning the 2022 Ford President's Award for customer service. Davis Ford was the only dealer in Mississippi to achieve this award, marking a record setting 20th time. Davis Ford would like to say thank you to our valued customers. We wouldn't be here without you and your commitment to us. Another great Saturday at college football. You're always pushing yourself. There's no time to rest. You keep moving forward. The only thing better than your last accomplishment is your next. What's next? What's next? What's next? So, Allie, what's next? I guess we'll see. Find a bank that's as excited about your future as you are. A bank that asks, What's next? Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. I heard every time you order Little Caesars during the Pizza Pizza pregame, you score a fun perk. And I heard Justin Jefferson is the most handsome receiver of all time. Yeah, you can't believe everything you read on the internet. No, I heard people say it. Order pizza and Pepsi online on game day for a chance to win Super Bowl 58 tickets. Pizza Pizza. Hey, it's Bella and Allie. We're walking into 6 a.m. workouts. For those of you who don't know, on game days we have Orlando challenges and we get little clues and we try to figure out what they are. Um, there's sus Usually the clues are so wrong we have no idea what's going there's on. There's suspicion of sprints and Some playing golf today. Is so what we're thinking. we'll keep you updated. Our it's currently uh, 5.55. And come along with us while we travel to Gulf Coast. <laughs> yeah, hey, you already know we out here. It's J Rod here. Matteo. P Bailey, aka Peter Parker.
excited. We thought we were just playing golf. Yeah, and then true. we had another whole workout and sprints. Yeah, and it's raining on the field. <laughs> so we'll see y'all when it's time to Boy, do goodbye. something else later. Bye. <laughs> so we can nap in just a second. <laughs> well, fast forward, we'll be there in a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> you got any wise words to say? What? Any wise words to say? Um, don't leave Alex and Mally. Oh. Alex is here. I have got to zoom through my makeup and my hair. I have like 30 minutes to do everything, so I'll catch you later. Bye. Bye. I am ready. I have my address to come on, but other than that, I am ready. their mood a little bit but frightens you <laughs> we love you Adam we love you let's go ICC love you. we are headed back to the bus right now game is done for it is over we are about to go change and we are about to go get some food about to go and then we're about to sleep so we don't eat peace out girl scouts peace out boy scouts peace out Adam and peace out let's go peace ICC out, Adam. Whoa. Cookout. This is our final stop before our five hour drive home. Four hour. Four hour drive home. Yeah. And we still have practice in the morning. At 12.30. At 12.30. At 12. 12. At 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. So that means, that means we have to be there at 11.30 because we have to get over 30 minutes. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. 
real trap, always. What did you get to eat? I got a chicken quesadilla and cheese, salt, cheese curds, and onion rings. A chicken bacon ranch trap with fries. Fries. Hey, I wasn't done. Chocolate milkshake. Um, I got some chicken nuggets and Tell some fries and yeah. some cheese curds, I think. Tell them your order. You go first. I got a chicken quesadilla and some cheese curds. Oh, and hold on. Tell and I got Ella quesadilla. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got a chicken quesadilla um, with some cheese curds. On what kind of milkshake did you get though? Uh -huh. And then no. I got me a. No. Uh, what did you get? She got a chocolate milkshake. Just like everybody else. That's all the guys, all the better. Three thirteen. Twenty-two hours later, and we just get Dang, home. Literally, we have had a twenty-two-hour day, and now we're just sitting outside of Mag and getting all of our stuff off the bus with Mally and Alex. Has already left. But but Brian wouldn't let us left left. Brian wouldn't let us leave until we when until we proed for y'all. So here you go. Let's see if he has any kind words to say about this. Any, any final words? Push your maps tomorrow. What? No, you're lying. Look, I'm not y'all's mom. Trash. I am not your mother. Well, there was like three pieces of trash too. That was already on the bus. All of that was, I remember. <laughs> It's been a great day with you. Let's go, ICC and, and Adam. We're gonna help you, but we'll see you later, Tater. I don't know what. What I'm do you want us to do? <laughs> I'm so tired. Keep, you want us to help keep you going, guys, cause you know what doesn't ever stop going. He said it. Yeah, I go, heard ICC. You know me. Bye. Bye. Kirk Herbstreet is a man of many talents. Not only an athlete and a sportscaster, but also an expert cartographer an amateur alchemist, a surprisingly gifted poet. What rhymes with encroachment? But his true talent lies in the art of banking. With Renaissance Bank's great products, rewards, and easy to use online tools, every transaction is a masterpiece. You might refer to Kirk as a Renaissance man. But I call myself a Renaissance man. Thanks, Justin Jefferson. You know, we love eating Little Caesars and watching the Vikings play. And one day, I'm gonna be just like you. Hmm, how about right now? Ah! Come on, Jefferson! Ah! Ah! Yes, how about another slice, Wart? Thanks, Dad, so tasty. Gee whiz, Justin Jefferson's having a great day. Just like this father and son. JJ's gotta have his Little Caesars. Try stuffed crazy crust for only $9.49. Pizza, pizza. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. I heard every time you order Little Caesars during the Pizza Pizza pregame, you score a fun perk. And I heard Justin Jefferson is the most handsome receiver of all time. Yeah, you can't believe everything you read on the internet. No, I heard people say it. Order Pizza and Pepsi online on game day for a chance to win Super Bowl 58 tickets. Pizza Pizza. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we'll give you some quick scoring. But before we do that, let's take a look at some of those highlights from the first half while we get a chance as well. First half scoring, let's, let's, like, let's start with the Stars. Wilson had two points. Hines with two points. Uh, Johnson with three. Robinson with four. Walker with five. Yates with four. Uh, one point for Quentin Myers and eight points for Sherwin. That is your scoring there for the West Kentucky Community and Technical College Stars. For ICC, well, everybody but one player put points on the board there in the first half. Chris Mitten had three 12 points for Dawkins, or excuse me, for Anderson. Uh, Dawkins had 17, four for Turner, six for Sanford, 10 points for Bridges, two points for Dre Graham, eight points for MJ Smith, Dathan Timms with two points, Tyson McDaniels with two points, or yes, two points. 
And you had A.J. Dent with four points to round out the scoring there for ICC. One more timeout. We'll come back with the second half of play right after this. Wow. Thanks, Justin Jefferson. You know, we love eating Little Caesars and watching the Vikings play. And one day, I'm going to be just like you. Hmm. How about right now? How about another slice, Wart? Thanks, Dad. So tasty. Gee whiz, Justin Jefferson's having a great day. Just like this father and son. JJ's gotta have his Little Caesars. Try stuffed crazy crust for only $9.49. Pizza, pizza. And welcome back. Just the final moments of halftime here. ICC leads this one by 41. Trying to extend that win streak to 14 straight, which would continue to build on the longest win streak ever in program history here at ICC. They set that mark last season with 12 straight wins. And of course this season they have done a little bit better on that one. Of course, they'll be back in action on Thursday when they take on Holmes to open conference play. So a big test when the Bulldogs come to town on Thursday, weather permitting. And it's always weird to say that for basketball. So the Indians will have the basketball to start the second half here. So we mentioned leading by 41. Imagine we'll probably see a lot of guys that don't get a lot of time, some significant minutes here in the second half. There's a three-pointer off the mark, no good, but the tip is there as that was MJ Smith with the putback. He enters double digits now in scoring with 10. He's gonna be a guy, as we said, he kinda, I think, had the flu maybe over the break. And so, Indians like to get him back to speed, a little bit strength back in him. As he makes that one, and the Indians up in this one, 72 to 29. So, ICC with the basketball, looking to go to work here. We're playing West Kentucky Community and Technical College. They are the stars. They're located in Paducah, Kentucky. It's probably, say, halfway between here and Chicago. About four and a half, five hours. And there's a floater in the paint up, no good. Rebound, lost out of bounds to just go with the Stars. I say Chicago, you kind of go that. That's the way I go when I go to uh, Notre Dame during football season, cut through that way. So, as I said, it's about a nine hour trip, nine and a half hour trip. That's just a nice feed inside, layup is good. Beautiful feed, nice finish. As that, I believe, was Myers getting his third point of the contest. 72-31 ICC with the lead now. Indians with the basketball, nearly turned it over, able to keep it. Minton thought about the three, now goes on the drive. Scoop shot is up, no good. Rebound being fought for, tipped around. Indians find it, and they put it home. That was McDaniels cleaning things up there for the Indians. I've got him with four points now. And it's a 74-31 advantage in favor of the Indians. So Western Kentucky looking to go to work. Shot up in the paint is good. Nice strong move in the paint that time by Walker. His seventh point of the afternoon. That was a good confident move in the paint. Got a little space and was able to have a soft touch to get that one to fall. So the Indians with the basketball. McDaniels feeds this one inside to Smith. Smith's turnaround shot. No, but there's McDaniels. How about a what a play Wednesday nominee there from Tyson McDaniels on the putback jam off the rebound. What a play Wednesday is brought to you by Renaissance Bank. They are the bank that understands you. You can find out why by visiting renaissancebank.com. Indians commit the foul on the other end after the offensive rebound by the Stars. Well, this is when I would typically run a replay to go back and look at that last dunk. But since the free throws are, or the shooter is facing the board, don't want to do that as a distraction as that free throw is good for Sherwin. He's got nine points. He leads all scores here for the Stars this afternoon. Second free throw, that one follows as well. Sherwin enters double digits now with 10 points. Makes it a 76-35 contest. This is Minton with the basketball, looking to work off a screen now. Kicks it out, 
Lane opens up for Dawkins and he throws it down. Well, Dawkins was kind of hesitant to drive the lane that time and nobody really collapsed on him. So he just went to work and threw that one down. Foul on the Indians, trying to go for the steal as he drove to the lane. Good call by the official that time. It's kind of pushed him from behind. That foul is going to be whistled on James Turner. It's going to be his first foul, team's second foul here in the second half. The Stars have yet to be whistled with one. Dangerous pass, and it's going to be off the Indians. As Smith just couldn't find it after he tipped it away, and it bounced off his head, and a smart play by the Stars player to kind of step away from it and let it go out of bounds. 78-35 is the score. Coming up on 17 minutes left in this one. They lob this one inside, and Minton takes it away. He was knocked to the floor. Good no call. Stars keep it. Jumper on its way. No good. Rebound to the Indians. And now Dawkins lobs this one up. Too tall for Smith. Dawkins patting himself on the chest, saying that one's on me. Then there's a steal by the Indians. Smith is going to throw this one down. Well, it's a dunkathon now for the Indians. 12 points. Eight dunks on the afternoon for ICC. Nice give and go. Beautiful extra pass, but great defense by McDaniels to break that one up. India's going to send in a fresh five here, so we'll reset your Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works lineup for the Indians. One, Davion Anderson. Ten, Marcel Bridges. There's a drive inside, shot is up, no good. Rebound tipped around and controlled by the Indians. Four is gonna be Jalen Sanford. 11, Dre Graham as he puts up the three and buries it. Graham now with five points on the afternoon and then to wrap things up, Marcel Bridges wearing number 10 for the Indians. That is your new five on the floor here, brought to you by Coke. Coke and ICC, that's a winning combination, and the Indians have put it together nicely today. Drive inside, lay up good, and count the foul. Graham with the steal and a chance at a three-point play the old-fashioned way here. As that one's going to be whistled on Quentin Myers, and that's going to be his third foul. A pair of subs coming in here for the Stars. That's going to be number 12, Johnson, along with what looks to be 21, Logan Davis. So waiting the free throw here. That shot is off the mark, no good. The rebound on the floor, and the Indians come away with it. Backdoor feed him with another jam. Sanford with some authority. Indians up big time in this one, 87 to 35. Robinson with the basket on the other end. He's now got six points. Eighty-seven thirty-seven is the score. Indians with the lead and the basketball. Try to feed it inside. Turn around jumper on his way. Kiss off the glass. Runnins on bank. Bank shot there for Bridges. He's got twelve. Runnins on bank. Find out what's next by visiting renaissancebank.com. The Indians are on pace to put up some big numbers. As there's a shot up, iron unkind that time. It was a nice move. Now here comes a lob in the jam on the other end. This has A.J. Dent getting a little love there on the alley-oop jam, 91-37. Shot is up, no good, but a foul on the Indians. Indians put 70 on the board in the first half. They've got 91 now. And there's 421, or excuse me, 1421 left to play. So free throws coming up here for the Stars. Misses the first one, as this is Robinson at the line. 
Gets up coming into the game here as that last foul is on Dent. That's going to be his fourth foul. So he will sub out and subbing in will be McDaniels. These are substitutions being brought to you by the ICC Wesley Foundation. They're located right across the street from us. They meet on Tuesday nights. I encourage all the ICC students to come be a part of the ICC Wesley Foundation. Talk about some of our other sponsors, the ICC Baptist Student Union, Raising Canes, Fagata's Mexican Restaurant, right down the road from us here in Fulton, Davis Ford, First American National Bank, the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works. We've talked about them a few times tonight as there's a jumper in the paint. Good. Samford, he's got 10 points now. Drive inside, shot is up and count it. So Sherwin gets the basket. He's got 12 and a chance at a three point play the old fashioned way here. As that foul whistle on Tyson McDaniels is gonna be his second. And he makes it. Nice job there by Sherwin. He's got 13 points to lead all stars in scoring. 93-41, Indians with the lead. Their largest lead of the game has been 52. As there's a nice steal there by the Stars. That's what I'm going to give credit to the Stars. They could have very easily have already packed this one in and kind of given up, if you will. As there's a jumper on its way, no good. But they're, going, they're still fighting hard defensively, crashing the boards. Just a little outmatched today as there's another jam for the Indians. That's Marcel Bridges. He's got 14 points. That ball's going to be slapped out of bounds, and it will stay with the Stars on the far side of the floor. Stars with it now. Working around the perimeter. Looking to go to work here. Looking to spin inside. Good defense by the Indians. Turn around jumper. Kiss off the glass is good. About Sherwin. 15 points with the old school kiss off the glass. Renaissance bank. Bank shot. I know you guys have seen a lot of those SEC shorts throughout the years. There's a three-pointer put up by the Indians. No good. Got his own rebound. But you can see some of those SEC shorts at Renaissance Nation. Dot com is that reverse layup no good but there's a foul on the stars so you can see that and a lot more at renaissance nation.com so this is going to send Sanford to the free throw line and that foul whistled on number 21 Walker his first foul Sanford's free throw is good Well, if you're watching, hit us up on Twitter. Let us know that you're tuned in here at Let's Go ICC on basically your favorite social media platform, but you can watch us on, or you can hit us up on Twitter at Let's Go ICC. Sanford makes them both. He's got 12 points. And the Indians lead this one now 97 to 43. And that's a travel, just one of those that the pass was a little bit too close when he passed it off that time, kind of lost his balance, shuffled his feet, and the ball goes back to the Indians. Chalmers has checked into the game, so if you're ICC, that's who you're looking to get the ball to, as Chalmers is the only player that has not scored, as Graham... Gets that basket to fall. I've got him unofficially with nine points on the afternoon. Indians a bucket away from pushing this one to 100. I was looking for that backdoor cut. Nothing there. A little bit too much on the pass. It goes out of bounds. And we'll go back to the Indians. So ICC with the basketball, looking to go to work here on the offensive side. 
I'm going to be a little bit more patient, try to work that clock and possibly work it down to about 15 seconds before they put any action on it. And there's a step back three-pointer. Samford drills that one. He's got 15 points now. So inside 11 minutes to play. Indians up 102 to 43. Three pointer from the corner, it's off the mark, no good. And the Stars with the rebound. Shots off the mark, late whistle and a foul is gonna be called on the Indians and a pair of free throws coming up here for the Stars. So that foul on Chalmers is going to be his second. It is the fifth team foul on the Indians here in the second half. 102 to 43. 1035 to go in this one. Don't know what the record for most points in a game is for the Indians, but you got to think ICC is going to be flirting with that, if not surpass that by the time this one's over, as that free throw is no good. Again, ICC is going to not be in a hurry here offensively. Chalmers with the basketball. Picks up his dribble, now feeds it inside to Smith. Smith sees a double team, puts the jumper up, no good. And the rebound, and now the Stars want to get out and run. Didn't have numbers, wisely backs it back out and tries to reset the offense. Drive inside, shot is up, nice move. Basket for Robinson, he's got eight. That shot's off the mark, no good, and the rebound to the Stars. And that's gonna be a reach-in foul on Smith. Or no, excuse me, they're actually going to call a moving screen on Wilson. Actually, the scoreboard shows four. I don't have a four on my roster. I believe it was on number one is what they meant to put. Yes, now they switch it. Foul was on one is his fourth foul. That shot off the mark and the rebound. To the Stars, quickly down the floor, puts the shot up, and no good, but there's a foul on the Indians. Well, baseball softball season coming up soon. Talking with Coach Andy Kirk, our former softball coach, and he jokingly said that, well, you know when it's baseball softball season, when the weather gets cold, rainy, and starts to act funny and well that's what we've got going and softball scheduled to start to believe the 26th of this season baseball start around the 30th both those teams on campus this weekend trying to get in some practice before those possible snow moves into the area as that free throw was good 102 47 now is the score of course if you're watching we do want to tell you to be careful with this Weather moving in, a lot of confusion or possibility of what it could be, and there's a miss on the dunk. Turns into a layup on the other end. Nice job of converting that into points by the Stars. Makes it 102-49 now. I've heard anywhere as much as a dusting of snow to eight inches of snow. This ball tipped around, tipped around, and eventually controlled there by the Stars. Three-pointer on its way. That one no good, and the rebound to the Stars. Tried to drive in that time. He's going to force the shot up. It's off the mark, no good, and Dawkins rips the rebound. So 
Dawkins with it now. Works it off. Chalmers tried the extra pass. Good idea, but a nice defensive play there by the Stars to take it away. The Stars with it. Throw it out of the corner to avoid the trap. 7.35 and counting in this one. 102-49 ICC with the lead. Shot is up and good. Nice job letting traffic clear that time by Sherwin. He's got 17 to lead the way for the Stars. Well, the Stars cut the lead in half. It's now 51 or 102 to 51. We'll take a break and be back with more right after this here on the ICC Sports Network. Kirk Hub Street is a man of many talents. Not only an athlete and a sportscaster, but also an expert cartographer, an amateur alchemist, a surprisingly gifted poet. What rhymes with encroachment? But his true talent lies in the art of banking. With Renaissance Bank's great products, rewards, and easy to use online tools, every transaction is a masterpiece. You might refer to Kirk as a Renaissance man. But I call myself a Renaissance man. And welcome back out of the timeout, ladies and gentlemen. 102 to 51. Indians in control of this one. 721 left to play here in Fulton. We do appreciate everyone that's tuned in and watching, whether it be in support of the Indians or the Stars this afternoon. If you happen to be watching, hit us up on Twitter at Let's Go ICC. Let us know that you're watching. We'll give you a shout out. As they try to throw this one into Dawkins, the ball slapped away. Message us on uh, Instagram as well. How about that? Let me go check Instagram. Indians with the basketball. Turnaround shot up in the paint is good. That's MJ Smith now. He's got 14 points. So West Kentucky looking to go to work here. Taking away the baseline, trying to go the extra pass and take it away by the Indians. Indians lead this one open to Dawkins back and there's another jam. Tyson McDaniels with his second dunk of the game. He's got eight points, 106-51 now is the score. Under six and a half to play. And that one taken away. This is Minton with the steal. Minton is going to lay this one in. And Minton, he has racked up the assist today. That's only his fifth point of the game. But running that point guard position, he has distributed the ball well. And there's going to be another steal, and it's going to be Dawkins. And he's going to lightly dunk that one as Dawkins with 21 to lead all scores, his fourth dunk of the afternoon. 110 to 51. Turnaround shot is up, short, no good. Rebound to the Indians. Throws this one to the backside. Dawkins is gonna reset the offense through Minton. Minton just throws this one back out and they're gonna reset the offense. That is Turner with it. Looking to go to work with 12 seconds on the shot clock. Out to Dawkins for three, buries it. You gotta think, could be a career evening here for Bryson Dawkins, 24 points as the Indians now lead 113 to 51. Inside five minutes ago, and the Stars want a timeout. Timeout on the floor. We're going to take it with you and be back with more right after this here on the ICC Sports Network. Kirk Herb Street is a man of many talents. Not only an athlete and a sportscaster, but also a skilled swordsman, a master chef. Needs more lavender. A wonder at word games. Two tries every time. But his true talent lies in the art of banking. With Renaissance Bank's great products, rewards, and easy to use online tools, every transaction is a masterpiece. You might refer to Kirk as a Renaissance man. But I call myself 
a renaissance man. And welcome back as we reset out of the timeout. 113 to 51, ICC with the lead with 452 to play here in the contest. ICC in their powder blue and the visiting stars of West Kentucky Tech, or excuse me, West Kentucky Community and Technical College in their navy blue and gold colors. Nearly taken away by the Indians. Now a three-pointer on its way. That one good. Nothing but the bottom of the net there. Second three-pointer of the afternoon for Preston Johnson. As we mentioned, when Preston has scored today, he's got a loud reaction, so I believe a lot of his family has been able to make the trip down here. As that shot is up and good. James Turner was contested that time, and he's got six points now. On the afternoon, the Indians up 115 to 54. So the Stars with it. They're going to put up a quick three. It's left short. No good in the rebound to ICC. Four minutes to play. 115 to 54 is your score. Indians again trying to. Work some clock at least going into their offensive step with 15 seconds. Chalmers drives the basket and was denied that time. And there's a steal. Now here comes Chalmers in the open floor. And Chalmers is going to lay it in. And ICC now has everyone scoring in the contest. Chalmers getting his first basket. So everybody that's active on the roster for the Indians have put points on the board this afternoon. 117 to 54 now is your score. Three-pointer on its way, no good. Rebound to the Indians. Indians kick that one back into the middle. Layup is going to be good as that was Tyson McDaniels with his 10th point of the afternoon. But we will have a vastly abbreviated version of the Renaissance post-game report. We will name our Samstown Market star of the game. As that shot was up and good, I believe that was Yates getting his sixth point of the afternoon. 119 to 56 now is the score with two and a half to play. Drive inside, layup is there for James Turner, who now has eight points. Of course, we'll go over some scoring there at the end, take a look at some Little Caesars half, or excuse me, Little Caesars highlights and more, part of the Renaissance Bank post-game report. Turnaround jumper, off the mark, no good. Rebound to Minton. But right now, ICC's trying to get a couple of subs in the game. Don't know if you just take a timeout or maybe their officials call a timeout to get them in here as Smith gets the dunk in his 16th point of the game. 14 dunks this afternoon by the Indians. There's a foul, so that will allow the subs to get in the game here for ICC. And so the Indians, that will be their seventh foul, so it will result in a bonus situation for the rest of the way out here. First free throw is up and it's good for Myers who now has four points. Subs in the game here for the Indians. Number 10, Marcel Bridges back in the game. Dathan Timms re-enters as well for the Indians. Second free throw no good in the rebound to Chalmers. So the Indians on the offensive side of the floor, looking to go to work. Now kicks it out to Timms, who wants the three. That one halfway down, no good. And the rebound to the Stars. Stars push it down in a hurry. Dribble it inside, then taken away by the Indians. ICC in the open floor. Lobs it to the backside. Nothing there, but a nice quick pass. And <laughs> a little bit too much unselfish play that time for the Indians. As the turnover gives it back to the Stars, it was a good idea, a great hustle play by Bridges to get it back as the wasn't ready for the lob, went up and got it anyway, threw it back before going out of bounds, but 
tried to reward his teammate for the hustle. Well, he hadn't got back in bounds yet, so the turnover gives it back to the Stars, coming up on a minute to play. Three-pointer on its way, no good. Rebound to Minton. Minton pushing the ball up the floor, gets by the defender, and will lay that one in and one. So Minton finishes strong at the basket, a chance at a three-point play the old-fashioned way here. 125 to 57 is the score. Waiting the free throw for this three-point play the old-fashioned way here. Can't get that one to fall. Timms gets a rebound, puts it up, and it's good. <laughs> Dathan with the board and the putback. He's now got four points on the afternoon. Indians up big time. Now Tim's open, and he's going to throw it down. Well, that got the bench and the crowd to their feet there as Dathan getting in the above the rim action this afternoon makes it a 129 to 57 contest. And it's going to be a turnover ball back to the Indians. Shot clock will be turned off. ICC can elect to dribble the air out of this one if they want to here. And that's what the Indians are going to do here. They're just going to dribble it around, and that will do it. ICC takes care of business this Saturday afternoon in the form of 129 to 57, your final score. We're going to take a timeout, hear a few words from our sponsors, and come back with the Renaissance Bank postgame report right after this. Another great Saturday at college football. You're always pushing yourself. There's no time to rest. You keep moving forward. The only thing better than your last accomplishment is your next. What's next? What's next? What's next? So, Allie, what's next? I guess we'll see. Find a bank that's as excited about your future as you are. A bank that asks, What's next? Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. Well, unfortunately, we do not have the ICC All-American Band with us this afternoon, but we do get to hear the chop as ICC picks up the 129-57 to win here over West Kentucky Community and Technical College. As we enter the Renaissance Bank postgame report, we're going to show you some of those highlights from the first half, and I'm going to count them up real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 dunks in the game today by the Indians. So it's a good day to be an Indian for sure. Let's take a look at some final stats. And as always, these uh, final stats are unofficial on the afternoon. I've got Wilson with two points, Hines with two points, Johnson with six, Robinson with eight, Walker with seven, Yates with six, Myers with four, and Wyatt Sherman leading the way for the Stars with 17 points. For the Indians, well, everybody put points on the board this afternoon for ICC. It was Minton with seven points, 12 points for Davion Anderson, 24 points for our Samstown Market star of the game, Bryson Dawkins, eight points for James Turner, 15 points for Jalen Sanford. JT Chalmers, excuse me, had two points, 14 points for Marcel Bridges. It was Dre Graham with nine points, 16 points for MJ Smith. Dathan Timms with six points. Tyson McDaniels with 10 points, and A.J. Dent with six points. Indians approved to 14-1 and one on the year. They extend that win streak to 14 straight games. They'll be back in action on Thursday, of course. Now, when we say that, we say there's a lot of crazy weather moving into the area this week. First off, we want to say be careful, be weather conscious. But you do want to make sure you can follow us on Let's Go ICC on your favorite social media platform. You can also visit letsgoicc.com. Uh, we'll make sure if that game's still in action, we'll know. But if it is, it'll be a doubleheader on Thursday. The Lady Indians will take on Holmes. The Indians will take on Holmes as well. 
It'll be a 5.30 and 7.30 tip there on Thursday to open conference play. And, of course, again, weather pending in that situation. So that's going to do it here for today's action. We do appreciate those that stuck around here to the final score of 129-57 to in favor of the Indians. For Raphael Henry, Jordan Allen, Cal Brown, I'm Adam Gore saying so long from Fulton. Have a blessed evening, safe weekend, stay warm, and as always, Roll Tribe. Another great Saturday at college football. You're always pushing yourself. There's no time to rest. You keep moving forward. The only thing better than your last accomplishment is your next. What's next? What's next? What's next? So, Allie, what's next? I guess we'll see. Find a bank that's as excited about your future as you are. A bank that asks, What's next? Renaissance Bank. Understanding you.